Hey guys, Orange Glazer here, and today we're looking at a new TF2 update that released that apparently will help everyone out, especially uh, content creators when it comes to gathering TF2 gameplay and such, and generally just good for everyone else because they have released, you know, what their other games have done, which is improving just your gameplay experience because let's just look at what they've done. So let's see, it's June 16th, 2020, and they've restricted certain new accounts from using the chat in official matchmaking modes. Now, what this means is that new accounts, such as bot accounts, whenever they join a game, they will not be able to spam the chat, which is really annoying, which has caused the game to crash in some certain scenarios. And now that it's gone, we don't have to worry about server crashing that much anymore. Work is ongoing to mitigate the use of new and free accounts for abusive purposes. So again, I've still seen some cheaters in games whenever uh, I was playing TF2 earlier today, but they were kicked really fast and overall, this is just a lot better for anybody who wants to join a game and not, you know, see the chat being spammed or voice chat being spammed, which is a problem that came up very recently, and because of that, has now been solved. They also added enable text chat and enable voice chat options to the top of the advanced options dialog to disable in-game text and voice chat. This has been something that TF2 creators have been asking for a long time, especially since they added an option like this in CSGO. It becomes a lot easier to hide chat and hide voice chat because, you know, there's people that like to spam the n-word or just put, like, really abusive stuff in the voice chat and text chat. And obviously with voice chat you can't really, uh, censor that because it's voice chat. But now you can, very easily. They updated the report player dialog to include more details so players can make informed decisions about who they're reporting. The report feature has not been updated for a long ass time and it was kind of a joke to report people for cheating. So usually while most people would kick the player for cheating and maybe they would get put on a like watch list for that before they get banned. Um, now this should help uh, filter out, you know, specifics of how they're cheating and all that good stuff. They fix getting the incoming message quest notification when you've already completed all available quests. This basically means that if you have a contractor, right, and you've finished all your missions, you don't have to worry about it popping up in your game saying you have available missions, because that stuff is over. They fix the undestroyed output not getting fired when an object is destroyed by the red tape recorder. Now it seems that this may be like something visual. I'm assuming it's like maybe you don't see the sapper breaking off of the sentry. But I guess they fixed that. So small gameplay bug. Not really hurting anyone but you know they, they patched that so good shit. They updated the telefragger toke to fix swapped materials. I honestly have no idea. So the Telefragger Toke is a cosmetic for the NG. And I'm not sure what it means by fixed swapped materials. But maybe it's something to do with paints that are applied onto the hat. Or maybe the hat just doesn't pop up whenever you take it on or off. They also updated the TF2 VRH headset to include on and off styles. So I'm pretty sure that's, you know, if you have a, a VR set. I guess it'll have its own style for uh, whenever you are and are not playing TF2. So maybe there'll be like some lighting with that. Maybe it's kind of like a Steam Cloud update for those people that have a TF2 VR H headset. But uh, pretty cool. Updated the Pastime Federation medals to fix issues with them not drawing correctly. Now honestly, I don't know who reported this bug, but like this must have really bothered you if you're still playing pastime if that cuz that cuz that game mode is kind of dead, you know? I would love to see an update on it, but uh there's actually a lot of community maps for it too. Wow, please, please just add more maps. We need more maps. Put pastime maps in the game, please. And they've updated added some tournament medals. Oh, who doesn't love tournament medals? Oh, there's so many of them. And 
with any TF2 update. Can't forget, they updated the localization files. The community would want this! I have no idea! Yes! Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. All I've wanted were some updated localization files and they've given it to us. Oh, alright. That being said, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I might do more of these because commentary seems to be uh, something that did pretty well on my channel for as much as I didn't do it in the past. Usually I've been doing a lot of shit posts, but people seem to enjoy these so let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new around here, you can subscribe, I'll keep you updated with those updates. And for those who came around for my jokes, well, we're still gonna have those here too. So everyone's happy. Uh, this has been the June 16th update for TF2 2020. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.